So it's been a minute since I've done an Instant Pot recipe, so this is way overdue. Today I'll be making one of my favorite dishes, but this time in the Instant Pot, so stick around. Hi, Debbie Chu here from Chew on Vegan. Welcome back to my kitchen. If you're new here, I'm a plant-based RN and I follow the Starch Solution. The Starch Solution was a program developed by Dr. John McDougall, and on his program, I was able to lose 15 pounds and have kept it off. If you want more information about the Starch Solution, I will leave a link to his book, The Starch Solution, in the description box below. On my channel, you're gonna find quick and easy whole food plant-based recipes, no oil and gluten-free. So if that sounds good to you, please subscribe and don't forget to hit that notification bell because I do post videos every Tuesday and Saturday. And for more plant-based content, be sure to follow me on Instagram at ChewOnVegan. And if you're new to this way of eating or maybe you've been doing it a while and you're struggling, I started a Facebook group and there you will find a very active group of like-minded people and you'll find recipes, inspiration, and support. And if you're still not convinced that a plant-based diet is right for you, I created a quick little e-guide that explains the benefits of a plant-based diet. And be sure to sign up to my newsletter. It comes out every other month and I cover different topics. Some are from a nursing perspective. I give you recipes, tips, and tricks. And I will leave the link to all these resources in the description box below. So as I said in the intro, I'm gonna be doing an Instant Pot recipe. This one's going to be mushroom risotto. I love risotto, but I don't like having to babysit it for 20-30 minutes, stirring and adding broth. And this is in the Instant Pot, you set it and you forget it. And then you come back and you have this beautiful fluffy risotto. No oil, gluten free, start solution compliant. So let's get started. So first thing you want to do is put your Instant Pot on the saute feature. I put some water in here and uh, we're just gonna add about a half an onion chopped. And once this gets going, we're gonna saute this for a couple of minutes. We're gonna let this get up to heat and then we'll get started. So it's been a couple minutes. Now we'll add a teaspoon of garlic and we'll let this cook for a couple of minutes. And if you need to add more water, then please do so. You don't want your garlic to burn. And I said this in my last video, if you hear something knocking, it's really windy out right now, and the wind is knocking around my blind outside there and it's hitting the house. So that's what's happening there. Can't do much about the wind. Now I'm gonna add a bag of sliced cremini mushrooms. This is 10 ounces. If you wanted to slice up your own, go right ahead. It will save you some money, but I'm being lazy today. So we're gonna saute these mm, three, four minutes. They're gonna release moisture, but you kinda wanna watch them, um, stir them pretty frequently. And if you need to add a little bit of water, do that, but don't add a lot because they will definitely release moisture. Now I'm going to add about a quarter cup of veggie broth to kind of deglaze the bottom here because that has a lot of flavor. Now you can use white wine. I don't have any white wine, so I just use some more broth and that works. Now we're going to add two cups of our arborio rice. It has to be arborio rice and we just want to stir it all in. a minute or so. You just kind of want it to get a little toasty. Okay, at this point I'm going to turn the saute feature off. And then I'm going to add four cups of veggie broth. And I like to heat up my broth I feel like it helps it come up to pressure faster. If you put it in cold, it just kind of stops the whole cooking process. So just stir that around, get everything 
incorporated there. If there's anything on the side, just kind of get that in with everybody else. Make sure that it is on ceiling. And then we're just going to do manual pressure for six minutes. And you want to make sure it's on high pressure. So we'll let this go. So when I went to the store yesterday, they had asparagus. You know spring is here. So I wanted to show you a little trick I do, and you may already know this, but if you take your, your little spear here and you just, that's where you want to naturally cut it. Wherever it breaks, that's where you want to naturally cut there. So I'm not going to cut, I'm just going to snap them all. Because this part's going to be real woody and you don't want that. So I just, I'm going to do the rest of these. So just snap. And you can save these if you want to do it. Put it, throw them in the freezer for your um, homemade veggie broth. And I, was, I just wanted to serve these asparagus with my risotto. I think that sounded really good. So I'm just going to put it in my 1970 steamer here. Look at this thing. You put water in there, this in here, and it's got a little lid. I don't know if any of you are old enough to remember these Tupperware. When you used to have the Tupperware lady come to your house, that was one of the items that you got when you were a hostess. Let me know in the comments if you remember that. I think we probably have a few of you out there in my age range. All right, I'm just gonna continue. Well, now I'm almost done. All right, I'm just gonna steam these for about five minutes and um, then when we have our risotto, we'll have this beautiful fresh asparagus to go with it. So as you can see, it really like doubled in size and look at how fluffy it is, yum. So at this point, um, you can put, do some salt and pepper, but I'm gonna plate this up and let's give it a taste. So I've got it all plated up, added my asparagus and topped it with a little flat leaf parsley. I um, added some nutritional yeast in there too because I just love that flavor, but that's totally optional. If you want, you could put cheese sauce on your asparagus, but I'm just gonna do it plain. So it looks like a really nice little 50-50 plate here. So let's dig in. Mmm. Yeah, you definitely have to have that rice. You can't use any other kind of rice. It just does not come out the same. Mmm. And it makes a ton. So it easily six to eight servings, depending on how big your servings are, but it makes quite a bit. So if you've made it this far in the video, please comment below with risotto. That way I know you've stuck with me to the end and I really appreciate it. And if you enjoyed this video, you got some value out of it, you learned something, hit the like button as well. Again, I appreciate all your support. And remember that all my recipes are good for you. They're good for the animals and they're good for the planet. And what you put on your plate determines your fate and your weight. Until next time, thank you. There we go. <laughs> all right, you got this. What are you gonna do? Well, why am I doing that? Okay, all right, now we're gonna add two, now we're, and topped it with a little bit of flat leaf, par, 